How's it going, boys and girls? I hope everybody's doing good out there. Today we're doing some accuracy testing and a full review on the Benjamin Gunner PCP air rifle. This was just released by Crossman and it's regulated. It sells for $999. And I was originally going to do a direct comparison between this air rifle and the hat sand factor. And then point by point, you know, like take one point off for not having a carbon fiber tank, give it one point up for this, you know, compare everything about the two guns. But then it became clear, as soon as I started testing this, that the hat sand factor just blows this gun away. There's just no contest. So the factor will be in stores within a couple months. And I actually did a full review on the hat sand factor when it came out in Europe. And that was over a year ago. But that gun is awesome. Anyway, on with the story. This is a nice looking gun. There's some good stuff about it and some bad stuff about it. I know for a fact that 50% of you are going to click off of this video within the first 60 seconds. So if you don't watch this whole video, you're not going to get the whole story on this gun and you're not going to really know what it's all about. So this is a little bit of a cliffhanger video and I'm talking about the accuracy portion, but do yourself a favor, watch it at least through the accuracy portion and then you'll have a good handle on what's going on with this gun. It is a nice looking gun and although I have already done a video about all the specs and stats, we're going to just burn through the hardcore stats real fast while you check out this gun and then we'll get to the shooting. So this is available in 22 or 25 caliber, and they are going to be coming out with a 45 caliber. It's a side lever, adjustable regulator, it says. It says it has a five position external power adjuster. 500 cc bottle runs on 200 bar. 12 rounds of 22, 10 rounds of 25. It has a shredded barrel with integral sound suppression. It's saying the max velocity in 25 is 900 feet per second and 1000 feet per second in 22. 32 foot-pounds of energy in 22, 50 foot-pounds in 25. It's got a match grade trigger. Integrated fill gauge. It has a gauge for your regulator. Picatinny optics rail. It has a pick rail on the bottom for your bipod. It has a really nice AR compatible grip. AR buttstock with four-way adjustable cheek piece. Nice rubber butt pad. I'll give it that. And like I said, Picatinny accessory rail on the bottom. It includes a hard case, two magazines, and a replacement shroud end cap with one half by 20 threads. So it has a one half UNF end cap that you can put your uh, standard moderator on there with. Okay, the manufacturer's description says the Benjamin Gunner Air Rifle is a versatile rifle with tactical attributes that delivers premium features and the performance to match. With velocities up to 1000 FPS in 22 and 900 FPS in 25, and the power, oh, we already said all that. It just says it's, it's a proficient at both small game hunting and target shooting. So I wouldn't want to do either one of those with this gun. Shooters will find multiple adjustments and features that make air rifle. Anyway, this description just says exactly what we just went over and all the hardcore stats. It says for a supremely functional air rifle with multiple adjustable features that is adept at target shooting and small game hunting, get the Benjamin Gunner PCP rifle from Pyramid Air now. All right, you guys, if you do decide to buy this or anything else, you just click on any of the links in the descriptions of any of my videos. And then after you click through there, I'll earn 5% on anything you buy at Pyramid Air, Airgun Depot, and then 2% on Amazon and eBay. All right, let's shoot this bad boy. So I didn't ruin my barrel. I used a JL Crown Saver, which is a flexible cleaning rod, to get all the preservative gunk out of my barrel. You definitely want to do this before you shoot any new air gun. Then I put my shroud back on. And it was party time. So I tried all the usual pellets in this gun and I just left the power set on high. I was very surprised that it did not like any of them, to say the least. And it was just by dumb luck that at the very end, when I was ready to pack it in, I grabbed one last tin of pellets and the gun decided that it liked them. So, a little bit crazy, you guys could be the judge. Now it says in the manual, it doesn't want you to adjust the regulator that it set at the factory for efficiency. But obviously, some of you more advanced guys, if you want this 25 caliber to shoot harder, which may be the problem, I don't know. Although it's such a huge difference between the wrong pellets and the right pellet, I just really don't know what to think. But anyway, what I'm saying though is I doubt that's it. But if you want to turn this up to 950 feet per second for shooting your 25 caliber ammo, you can definitely do that. I didn't personally have time to get into this gun like that. If we do end up testing the 22 caliber version, I'm guessing it's going to have as much power as it needs straight out of the box all right you guys here's the gunner I want you to check out this action you just barely touch it and it springs out like that
Once it's there, listen to this. Did you hear that? Listen. That is like precision. It sounds so good. To decock it, you just go like this. All right, let's see what the pull weight is on that sexy trigger. You guys, that is one pound, 0.3 ounces. So basically, exactly one pound trigger pull. What's that hatch you got on there, dude? The Fat Boy 2.0, man! Don't you know about that? Yeah, dude, I know about it. Hey, can you hold my sound meter? No problem, dude! Thanks. This stock does rattle quite a bit when you're handling the gun, but it has this cool push-button cheek riser. So you can adjust your cheek piece to get that perfect cheek weld. All right, you guys, I'm rocking my Helix today. And we've got the gunner right here. 25 grain, 33 grain, and MK2 33 grain. Through the use of this power adjuster right here, I'm basically going to click up and down, try to get a good speed for these pellets according to my chronograph. All right, we're set up at a very special. Thirty-seven yards away, stretching it out. We definitely have periods of no wind, but there's a little bit of wind. You think it's okay day to shoot, Bugaboo? Hell yeah! Awesome. All right, I'm single shot loading these. This just came off the Zeus, so it's probably gonna hit to one side. Went somewhere. There it is. It's no limits time. All the tins of pellets I'm using today are brand new, and I'm starting off here with a 25.39 grain JSB. All right, I wasn't recording that whole time, but we should be fine on air. Let's do this again. Darn it. These pellets are perfect, you guys, and there is not much wind. I don't feel any wind. All right, another quarter size group. So, let's just put some other ones in here. 33 grain, here we go. Here we go, Smokey Joe. 33 grain, non, these are 33 grain MK ones. Let's just sight in on a big dog here. Seven That should be a one-shot sight in. Here we go. If this was a hat sand factor, we'd be sighted in. Let's see what happens now. Maybe this thing's designed to shoot 33 grain. Ooh, I like that so far. I'd call that a one-shot sight in. It's touching the bullseye. Nice, all right. This gun does not like 25 grains, but it likes Damn, yeah, nice. It likes the 33 grain, so this is a heavy hitter right here. I'm not even going to adjust this or anything. Ooh, what was that? 
that's okay. I probably pulled that, you know, two inches off the bullseye. That happens a lot to me. Whoa, nice. In the same hole, buddy. All right, we got a winner right here. I'm going to click. Pull an impact. Right. Same hole, baby. Wow. This is a smooth shooter, too. It doesn't vibrate or nothing when you shoot it. Ooh. Occasional flyer. We might just want to remove those baffles. That was a corkscrew right into the almost bullseye. I can't remember which bullseye I was aiming at. Let's go for the aim small, miss small. All right, well, now it doesn't like the 33 grain. Or maybe we're low on air. Let's check it out. I was at about 2300 PSI at this point. I went ahead and filled my tank back up. Look at these nasty Nellies. And moved on to the next pellet. As well, I went ahead and removed the baffles to see if that would help my accuracy any. That's usually the first thing you do with accuracy issues to make sure you're not clipping one of your baffles in there. Okay, my scope camera has died. And so that thing only runs for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and just do one of these numbers. All right, guys, full tank of gas, and we're shooting the 25 grains again. So a major change in the point of impact when I took those baffles out, I'm going to go ahead and no limit my scope rings back to where they're supposed to be, and we'll do this again. All right, so now the GoPro, I guess, is full of, I don't know. It's not working either. So, no more chronograph, but let's see if we solve this flyer issue. Still not acceptable groups for a thousand dollar gun. Let's go ahead and throw some 33 grain in there, see what happens. <laughs> Is that two pellets? No. All right, so no 33 grain. Let's try the MK. Well, let me just go fill this back up. All right, you guys, scope cam on temporarily. We're going to try some Hades and some FX and 25 cal. Holy crap, you guys. Look at these nasty Nellies. Extremely toxic to varmints. Same thing, we're getting a huge giant group. <laughs> Bullseye! Okay, so we still have plenty of air. We're gonna be at, at least 28, 2900, I'm sure. Let me just throw some FX in here before my battery dies. Okie dokie, FX. Where did it go? 766 feet per second. Let's shoot this guy again. Not a problem. We're just going for group. Actually, that might, no, that's in the picture. Definitely, these are the best pellets so far, you guys. If we could pick one of those holes and stick with it, we might have a winner. Nice. Okay, we might have a winner right here, you guys. All right, I'm liking this. Oh, it's great that I finally found the pellet for this gun. Glad I didn't give up. Redemption group, here it comes. Oh, 
unbelievable, you guys. <laughs> this gun's shooting 50 cent piece size groups and we pick the right pellet and the thing comes alive. Unbelievable. Unbefreaking leaveable. That was 768 feet per second right there. Look, you guys, I was ready to write this gun off and then it shot a dime sized group with ease. FX pellets. So I was gonna save the rest of this target for another video, but I figured such a great group was cause for celebration. And I wanted to know if it would repeat the accuracy. You guys, it's a little bit breezy, but you know, we're at 35 yards shooting 25 caliber. So I don't think that should be too much of an if you. All right, guys, should be sighted in. Here we go, FX. This gun is on fire. I was about to say, flyer free, baby, but I don't think that counts. That definitely counts. All right, this is doing much better, you guys. No flyers, we just got through 10 shots with no flyers. Um, all but two of those are touching the bullseye. So eight shots, eight shots in the bullseye. Definitely, I would say I'm disappointed in the gunner. The hat sand has a ton of more features, such as a carbon fiber bottle, a way better case, adjustable hammer spring, externally adjustable regulator, and it just shoots lights out like a laser. So if you don't believe me, check out the Hat Sand Factor RC video. And yeah, maybe I'll check out a 22 in the gunner and maybe 20 shoots shoots awesome. Who knows? The 25 though, you're definitely gonna want to mess with that regulator if you get one. Or just shoot FX pellets, that's an option too. So to adjust the regulator, you definitely need to read your manual. You have to completely degas the rifle, pull the trigger a few times, get all the air out. Then with a wrench, you loosen the bottle. Then unscrew it by hand, and then you're gonna put a four millimeter Allen key into where the bottle goes and make slight adjustments going up or down on the regulator. Once again, consult your manual before you do that, and definitely make sure you get all that air out of the gun. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.